Hey, it's Ryan with Parts Doctor, and today I'm going to show you to replace the motor control module on this top load Fisher Pico dryer. We need a couple different tools for the job. We'll leave those listed in the description below. Let's get started. The motor control module controls the power output to the motor and the heating elements. If the motor control module fails, the motor may not work or the heating elements may not heat up. First thing we'll need to do is open up the lid to remove the two screw covers. Ours is missing one of the two screw covers. Using a flat blade screwdriver, pry out the screw cover and set it aside. Then remove the two Phillips screws. Now tape the lid closed, then open up the top and disconnect this electrical connector. Then fish the wires out from the retainer. Now depress the two locking clips on each side and we can remove the top cover. With the top cover removed, we'll remove the two Phillips screws securing the front panel. With the screws removed, pull out on the sides while pulling forward. Pull the panel forward, tilt it down. Then disconnect the ground wire at the bottom and set the front panel aside. The motor control module is located in the bottom left corner. We'll want to start by removing the top cover. To do that, depress this locking tab, lift up, and then pull it forward to remove. Before disconnecting the wires, we'll take a quick photo so we can reference it later to know the locations of the wires. Grab each electrical plug, wiggle it back and forth to remove them. Then remove the wiring harness from the retainers. Now remove the Phillips screw at the front. Now lift up on the front of the module and slide it forward to remove it. If you have a bad motor control module and you need to purchase a new one, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You wanna make sure that you're searching with the model number from the tag on the dryer to make sure that you get the correct part. To install the motor control module, start by aligning these two tabs with the two tabs on the bottom cabinet of the dryer. Insert the motor control module under this wire and slide it along the bottom until it aligns with those two tabs. Then lower it down and install the Phillips screw. Next, reconnect the electrical plugs. If necessary, reference your photo from earlier. Then insert the wires back into the retainers on the side. Now reinstall the top cover, insert it underneath this wire, slide the rear into place, then lower the front and push down until it locks in place. We'll now reinstall the front cover by first reconnecting the ground wire, then aligning these tabs here with the two tabs on the bottom. Hold the bottom in place with your foot while spreading out the top edges and pushing back. Align the notches with the slots until it locks back into place. We'll repeat the same thing on the other side by aligning the notches with the tabs and pushing back until it locks into place. Now reinstall the two screws on the front cover. Now we'll reinstall the top cover by aligning the tabs, then pulling them through until they lock into place. Then reconnect the electrical plug 
and tuck the wire back into the retainer on the side. Now lower the top cover back down. Remove the tape and reinstall the two Phillips screws. Followed by the two screw covers. So that's it for this video. If you learned something new, hit that like button. And if you like fixing things, please consider subscribing.